known for making great maple syrup, but they might have some competition. WBOC's Kevin Leahy found some sweetness on the eastern shore's neck of the woods. We're looking for the perfect red maple. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead, we'll pick a big healthy tree. We'll go about, about four inches. We're going to make some of the Eastern Shore's best syrup from scratch, but for that, we need a bucket that's been collecting for about a week. We don't have uh, sugar maples growing at the park that are large enough to be tapped, so we have to use the red maple. Uh, we've had them tapped for about a week now, and this is what's been collecting. This is just pure sap from the maple tree. Then it's loading time, and at first I had no problem being the mule, but it takes about 60 gallons of red maple sap to make one gallon of syrup. Uh, it's getting heavy. <laughs> the back is burning. Speaking of burning. And like we said, the sap is pretty much all water, so that's what's boiling off, and then we'll have our syrup down at the bottom. But how good is it? We've got to figure out what's the good syrup, which one's the one that we just made versus what you usually get in the store. Now, I've got my popsicle stick right here, and I'm going to dip in, see if I can taste the difference. Pretty basic. Well, this one looks much thicker, too. Yeah, that's the good stuff right there. And that good stuff can be found all around here at Pemberton Park. Reporting in Salisbury, Kevin Leahy, WBOC News.